Hey what's up guys? When we look up at the night sky, more than four-fifths of all the single points that you see in the night sky are actually not a single star. They're actually two or more stars orbiting together. The most common of all the multiple star system are the binary stars. So when we talk about binary stars, they can be classified on how we observe them. First are visual binaries. There are two stars with wide enough separation that both can be viewed through a telescope or even with a pair of binoculars. From here, we see them as a single dot, but when we see them through a telescope, we can, we can actually distinguish both the stars. Hence, it's called a visual binary. Second type is a spectroscopic binary that appear close enough with the telescope that we cannot make out there are single or double stars. But when we measure their wavelengths, the light that they emit can determine if they are binary or a single star in nature. So we need to do spectroscopy of these stars to figure out if they are binary. Hence their name, spectroscopic binary. Then there are eclipsing binaries. These are stars that orbit at an angle so that from the Earth, when one passes in front of the other, it eclipses the star behind it, just like a lunar eclipse. So this totally depends upon the, the angle that these stars are orbiting relative to the Earth. Then there is astrometric binaries. These stars seem to dance around empty space. That is, we cannot see their companion. Either they are too dim for us or, or they have been hidden by the glare of the primary brighter star. But we can see their impact, the impact the smaller star or the faintest star has on the primary one. So this was about astrometric binaries. So there are stars that are referred to as double stars that appear close together in the night sky visually, but they are not necessarily anywhere near each other in space. So I talked about all these binary stars for a reason. Today, we are going to visit a place in the Andromeda constellation. Most of us, when we see the Andromeda constellation and we hear the word Andromeda, think about the Andromeda galaxy. But there's an interesting thing in this constellation when we see the third most brightest star in this constellation, that's Almark. It's a visual binary star when we see the star through a telescope. Actually, I tried to take a video of this system, but my telescope was too unstable. Hence, I found a video online, which I'll link in the description, but I'll also put the video in my video itself. So this is the Gamma Andromeda of Almark. It is a double star. The primary star is a golden yellow star. And the secondary one is a dimmer indigo blue star. Isn't it amazing how we can see these ball of fires about 350 light years away from us and we can still resolve them with our small telescopes. It amazes me every night. Just a small fascinating thing about this system I wanted to add that on further research on the system it was found out that the blue star, the dimmer blue star which we are seeing here, it itself has a triple system. Hence, the whole system is not a binary system, but it is a quadruple system. It has four stars all together in that system that we cannot even see. It amazes me how a sun is just a single star and there are such systems out there with two, three stars orbiting each other. Now, Jupiter could have been a star though. Anyways, and yeah, actually, Saran Kumar as you had requested for a video on Schwarzschild radius to calculate Schwarzschild radius of any planet. I, I didn't make the video about it because I already have a video on it. Uh, it's called Facts About Black Hole. I had uploaded that video a month back, a few weeks back, I don't remember probably. But you can see the video and I have even given links of online calculators that can calculate for you the Schwarzschild radius of any object. So yeah, you can check it out. I'll put the link in the description as well. Yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I hope to see you next Thursday. Till then, I'll find more amazing stuff for you in the night sky or just in the world itself. Please do all the things like share, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notification. And now have, I even have access to the community feed where I can upload photos and interact with you through the comments. So please do look out for that. And as always, stay curious. Stay awesome.